Hello and thank you for joining us. It's Golden Slipper Week in Sydney. Uh, Jake, here you're not coming up? No, no, just going to um, fly the flag here in Melbourne Tags. Good. We'll, we'll come back and find out uh, who your best bets are at the weekend, but before we do, we're going to hear all the racing news with Nat at the news desk. Thanks, Hugh. Unbeaten Queensland filly Military Rose remains the favourite for Easter Saturday's $3.5 million golden slipper at Rose Hill after drawing Barrier 8. The feel-good story of the carnival chance by who costs just $15,000 as a yearling and is unbeaten in three starts has drawn perfectly in Barrier 3. And Gay Waterhouse's More Strawberries will now be ridden by Damien Oliver after Corey Brown fractured his left shoulder after falling from Viva Last in Warwick Farm. Jockey Glenn Boss will contest a suspension on Thursday in an effort to ride Speed Gifted in Saturday's Group 1 BMW. Speed Gifted will run from Barrier 11, while Favourite and multiple Group 1 winner Thessio will start from Barrier 8. Looking to the weather for Easter Saturday at Rose Hill and a few showers expected with a top of 24 degrees. Back to you boys. Thank you Nat. News of a wet Sydney and Rose Hill. Let the good times roll out yeah. of Rose Hill, I Tags, say, Jaggy. You'll, uh, you'll be there. You can yeah, pack I'm, your yeah, uh, wellies and your go. raincoat. Yep, hopefully the ticket comes through and I'll pull the strides up and get the wellies on. I can see and, you. Uh, you'll, be in, you'll be in some sort of marquee at the end of the day, I reckon. I can see you just yeah. bopping along. Yeah, I'll yeah. be with that Hawthorne player and the Pussycat Doll. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What's his name? That's Gibbo. Gibbo. Oh, Gibbo. Gibbo. Yeah. yeah. Everyone loves Gibbo, but he can't play that well. Yeah. <laughs> Geelong supporter, anyone? Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about let's talk about the slipper. And Military Rose, as you just heard from Nat, is still the favourite at four dollars ten ahead of Crystal Lily, the Victorian six dollars eighty. Bright Expectations, who won so convincingly last week at seven dollars twenty, and Chance By, who was as uh, well, who will, as Nat said, uh, be the good news story of the carnival mm. if she gets up thirteen dollars. Um, look, it's a pretty flat field. I say flat. It's a pretty even, even. field. Quite right, uh, Jakey. And um, it wouldn't surprise me if any of almost a dozen of these horses uh, could win. Mm. Um, will the wet conditions play a part here? Uh, I think they probably will, uh, as they did last year with Feel and Ready, bursting clear of the pack, given that he was probably the best wet tracker and he was about 25 to 1, the longest prize slipper winner that I can recall. Um, and I know the one that you like in this race, Tags, is just about the only one who's won on a, on a heavy track, or mm. a slow track, I should say. Uh, and she won by about four and a half lengths. Would you yeah, like to reveal? She, yeah, I think I, well, I still fancy Solar Charge, and I know she had a uh, a pretty flat week uh, a couple of weeks ago when she was rolled by Military Rose. Yeah. Um, but I think she's entitled to have a flat spot during her preparation and you don't win them, you don't win the Golden Slipper in March. Correct. Yeah, very good. Just? Yeah. <laughs> Is it April? Yeah, uh, yeah you don't. Yeah, quite no, right. Just, just yeah. in April. Normally you do, but not this year. <laughs> And, uh, and I reckon she's got a big chance. And the reason why I like her is because the odds, and it's around $15 on Betfair. So uh, for those solar charge fans, don't jump off just yet. Yeah, I, I like Jane one Hoody of fancy. either of Gay's. I think Broad Expectations or more Strawberries. Um, I think the fact that Nasha Willow is committed to Broad Expectations is telling. Uh, hearing a Gay Waterhouse speak during the week, I think she probably favours mm -hmm. Broad Expectations. So assuming he gets through the ground, uh, and with Nash for cash up top. He's been, he's been riding just wonderfully. He's a well, sensational yeah. rider, so I'm, I'm pretty keen to, um, to, to go with Nash. I think the good thing about uh, the wet track is that it brings the outside gates into it a little bit more. If the inside gets chopped up and feeling ready, obviously won from a very Quite wide right. gate yep. uh, last year, and more strawberries and even solar charge have drawn out wide. So if you're looking for value, don't forget about those two who have mm -hmm. drawn the car park. We move on to the BMW over 2,400 metres, day. Group 1. Mm. Um, and we're a little bit short of quality uh, middle distance horses in Australia, but there's well, one. There's only one half a dozen group ones, Teddy. Yeah, I was about to say. Sorry. Except, Sorry. except for the one at the top of the market, Thessio, at $3.40, and uh, an overwhelming favourite, really, uh, ahead of speed gifted around the five forty five fifty mark. Uh, Daffodil, $8.80, and Purple, who's a known mudder. She's a mudder. Um, at $13.50. So, um, I, I think it's, is it, is it Thessio or is it the field, Jakey? Uh, well, this is often a blowout. I know Thessio just went down last year in this race on a, on a bog track to Fiumicino. Mm -hmm. I think it could be a blowout though. Look out for the Kiwis, Daffodil and Harris Tweed. Mm -hmm. um, I'm tipping Speed Gifted on top, but yeah, treat those two I mentioned with caution. Okay, we move to the Queen uh, of the Turf Stakes and we get the match race that we've been wanting for, oh, for, for some time now. Beauty. And it's Typhoon Tracy at $2.30 uh, to More Joyous $3. Um, Jake, do you fancy the Victorian or the, or the, uh, the New South Welsh female? Oh, the Victorian female? tags, the Victorian. Okay. $2.30, happy to take the short? Uh, I think she'll be cl uh, closer to 6 to 4, perhaps even a bit longer on race day. I'll wait until race day to bet. 
um, but I'm pretty keen on Typhoon Tracy tags. Okay, and the George Ryder, which is a quality race over 1,500 metres, and Dane Lee, who's a known wet tracker, uh, heads the market at $4.60, Heart of Dreams, uh, who ran last at 2,000 metres at Flemington, mm -hmm. $5, probably a better distance for him, and Black Piranha, Dow Dow, Sniper's Bullet, and King Mufasa, who have been uh, prominent in uh, previous Sydney carnivals, Jake? Without winning. Who do you um, fancy? I think the fact that Graham Beggs favoured this race rather than the Mayor's race with Palacio de Crystal is telling. Again, the track's going to play a big part in this, but I'm pretty keen on her at close to 20 to 1 tags. It does look like a good price. Let's mm. see if Nat's got a good price with her Betfair Big Sprook. The Betfair Big Sprook. Well, boys, I do love a good fairy tale, so my Betfair Big Sprook in the Golden Slipper will be the sentimental favourite, Chance Buy. And looking at the BMW, Thessio will be tough to beat, but I'm going to go with Purple. I must admit, I didn't really like her run last week in the Rambit Stakes, but she's won me money before and she likes a wet track, so I'll be sticking with Purple. Thank you, Nat. Going with Lady Luck. As ever, I think she wore a purple blouse last time she backed Purple. Yeah, have... it's predictable as the sun rising, that That's is. That's right. God, typical. Jake, who do you make your bet for big spooks? Let's, uh, have, let's have a back in a lay. Okay, sure thing. I'm going away from the group ones for my back of the day. I'm going for Dorf Kaman in race nine at Rose Hill. Um, massive run at uh, the track record time last time out at Randwick. I think if she goes through the track, she'll win. Uh, she's on the bottom weight. And my lay of the day is more joyous. I, I love her and mm. I've won a lot on her, but I don't think she can beat Typhoon Tracy, so I'm laying her at around the $3 mark. Oh, Thanks. Exactly. That's bold. Thank you. You? I'm going to be quite bold too and lay Thessio in the BMW because the last time I backed him he got rolled by Nick and Nero in the last stride in the Australian Cup so that hurt. Enough. It's the only hurt. time I ever backed him so I'm mm. going to lay him. Good. Uh, $3.40 and have the rest of the field running for me in the BMW. Clever. And I'm going to back Solar Charge and I might even have a little dabble on uh, more strawberries too. Good. Just that gay, singo right. kind of slipper feeling. And have a bit of straws in your, uh, your shampy pampy afterwards. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, lovely. I hope yeah. Singo shouts the bar. Correct. We'll see you again next week.